What's the stupidest thing you've heard a person say aloud in public? I don't need to get vaccinated. My dad's a chiropractor. I hope he can massage the frickin' measles out of your bones you nut. She also thought that dinosaur bones were planted there. My mom has brought us up to me a few times over the years. Me. 4 years old. At the grocery store. Asked the man in front of us why he was black. He laughed and asked me why I was white. I said I don't know and he said he didn't either. And that. Is why racism is dumb. I also asked an old man why he had so much earwax. It was a hearing aid. Lovely reply from the man. I grew up on a cattle farm. A woman about 15 years older than me, I was 16, asked me after you cut off the meat from the cow, how long until it grows back so you can cut more I wish so badly that she was fricking with me, she was not. Now that's sustainable farming. I am a nurse, so I ask a lot about medical history and current meds. Me, what medical problems do you have? Patient, none. Me. Do you take any prescription or over-the-counter meds on a daily basis? Patient. Yes. My blood pressure pill and Lasix. Me. So you have high blood pressure and heart failure? Patient. No I don't. Me. So what are the medications for? Patient. My blood pressure and heart failure. Duh. This happens all the time. It's also disturbing how many people have no idea what medications they take. That, and asking about family history. No, you are not at risk of developing cancer because your mother-in-law had it. I was in a briefing about sexual assault prevention, Air Force Group. The 06 asked us if a female subordinate came to you with allegations of sexual assault or harassment in the workplace what would you do? A staff sergeant with zero fricks to give raised his hand and when called on said sir, I gotta be honest, I wouldn't believe her. The whole room went silent and we watched the 06 burn a hole through this guy with his eyes. The 06 then said that is the worst possible answer you can give me, people. During a power cut, I lost faith in my entire family. My 8 year old. Dad, can I watch TV? Me. The power's out. My wife. But you could use the laptop to watch Netflix until the battery goes. Me. Darling. The power's out. Wife. That's why he has to use the laptop. Me. But we have no internet while the power is out. Wife. Internet comes over cable, not the power lines. Me. The modem that brings us internet is plugged into the wall outlet. The powerless wall outlet. Because there's no power. Because the power's out. We have no internet. Wife. Well. Try plugging it into a different wall outlet. That's when I just went upstairs. Comma that's when I just went upstairs. Hopefully to plug it into another outlet. The moon's distance from the earth is less than 100 kilometers. When corrected. He just said well. Then it's probably 110 kilometers. If the moon was teleported to 110 kilometers away, we ought to prepare for Armageddon. I have posted this before but, I went to college in a small town and every Thursday they would have a mobile DMV. When I had to get my lessons renewed they were having trouble with the internet. The woman in charge instructed the other woman working there to shake out all the wires because sometimes the information gets clogged up in them. On the flip side, I used to work for tech support for a large internet cable company. I ended up having to white light at people and tell them to take the coax cable off the back and touch the tip, because sometimes static builds up and affects the picture. If I didn't say this absurd thing, people wouldn't actually do it. My friend who was a senior in high school thought senior discounts would apply to him. It led to an incredibly awkward back and forth between a Taco Bell worker. Shortly after 9-11 my wife and I were in the UK. On the way home, the customs officer at the airport was dead serious. Officer, are you a US citizen? Wife, yes. Officer, it says here you were born in New Mexico. So when did you become a US citizen? Wife, at birth. New Mexico is in the US. Officer, no it isn't. It's in Mexico. That's why it has Mexico in the name. Um. Just like New York is in York which is in the UK. Not me but my dad has heard. 
I set out all these bird feeders and bird baths but not one bird comes to my yard. I bet it is all those pesticides that crop duster is laying down in the field. Local school board member, as they were standing in her 5 acre yard with 20 or more cats running around. So in actuality, she just established a very elaborate bird trap. Traveling back from Berlin to the UK, I was sat next to a couple whose conversation had me wondering if I was being secretly recorded. Woman to her husband, I wish we had managed to get to the beach in the seaside in Berlin. It looks so lovely from up here. Do you think we'll go over the channel on the way home? I'd prefer to go around and travel over land all the way. Is this Snowden we're going over now? We're descending into Manchester. I think this is the same cloud we went through on our way out. Comma I think this is the same cloud we went through on our way out. I'm going to say this at the end of the flight next time I fly. Just to see the reactions. Co-worker at my old job while we were setting up for Black Friday. It's pretty crazy that Black Friday actually falls on a Friday this year. Tell them that Halloween falls on a Friday 13th this year. P. During my stints in hospitality. Is that the ocean? I wanted ocean view. It looks like a lake. Nope that is the Pacific Ocean but hey take a big drink if you're not sure. Guest called down at midnight annoyed as heck. Demanded we turn off the foghorn. While she found it nice for ambience during dinner now at 2am it's annoying. Sure we can. Just don't mind the giant tanker that may or may not crash into your room. Can you hold the sunset tonight? I need good pictures for my Facebook. I'm sure. I thought she was kidding. Nope dead serious. Can you hold the sunset tonight? Holy motherfuck. In retaliation for 9-11 we should bomb the Taj Mahal. Birds are mammals right? No, they're birds. I know but they're still mammals right? I heard some people debating whether birds were mammals or primates. Eater. Wow. Thanks for the gold. Teenager 1. We have an exchange student in our class from Brazil. Teenager 2. Where's Brazil? Teenager 1. I don't know. I think it's a small country in Africa somewhere. She speaks Portuguese. Teenager 2. Why? Teenager 1. I don't know. I think they just like it. At least they got the language part right colon. Him. I'm vegan but I still eat chicken and turkey. So can I get a Cuban? A sandwich with pulled pork and ham. Made with turkey instead of the ham me. Sure. So do you want me to take the pulled pork off? Or make it with double turkey? Him. No leave that on. Me. Visible confusion okay. He comes back later with his lady all mad saying he wants a new sandwich because he didn't know pulled pork was from pig and he doesn't eat pig because he's vegan. I also forgot to mention the sandwich comes with cheese. He didn't complain about that part. It honestly breaks my brain that people can become vegan without actually knowing what foods are made from animals. Not even obscure things like gelatin or hidden dairy content, but meat. Was leaving the theater after having watched Fellowship of the Ring. Overheard a guy tell his friend I don't get it. How come it ended just like that and the friend replied Tolkien wrote the third already but he's still working on the second. Oh and the first book will be made last. Don't forget. Went on a date and was trying get to know this girl. Me. What kind of food is your favorite? Girl. Um. I really like Australian food. Me. Haha <laughs> yeah like throw another shrimp on the barbie haha. <laughs> Girl. No like real Australian food like they have at the Outback. Girl genuinely thought the restaurant the Outback Steakhouse was Australian food. Chickens are not animals. They crap eggs. Said a friend who was trying to explain how she can eat poultry and be vegan at the same time. Pigs don't have blood. My co-worker trying to explain his belief that pigs don't have a heart, blood, or veins which is why they're white meat. Her. Ivory comes from elephants. Ebony comes from rhinoceroses. Me. Ebony is a type of wood. Her. God. You're dumbass. Me. You're both wrong. They both come from pianos. Two grandmas talking in France. Well, there is definitely more wind ever since the fall of the Berlin Wall. They were dead serious. I heard that as a kid and I still laugh at it. I would have asked them if they remembered the archaic windy days of pre-war Germany. There is a starlet in my country who's famous. I don't know. For being famous I guess. Here are some of best offs. Translated. 
I would bulldoze down Church of Saint. Donut. Built in 9th century and build an older one. Greetings to my parents. Especially mom and dad. I'd love to have more self confidence in other people. I'm always included in mobbing. I have 5 mobile phones. She never ceases to maze. E. For all those asking for a name. A redditor in the comments below mentions it. I'd love to have more self confidence in other people. I don't care about logic. I agree. Maybe haven't heard but the first time I purchased a coffee at a Starbucks the barista asked me if I wanted it hot or cold. I said, what's the difference? She looked at me and just said, hot or cold. I heard two girls talking about baking when one said she wanted to try baking a bread at home but she didn't know how to make the crust of the bread. She also said she was thinking about baking the crust only because she liked it more than the rest of the bread. She truly thought that the crust was made separately. There is a Japanese bread in which THR crust is made separate from a different dough, but that probably wasn't the case. P. Heard on a crowded bus. She's half white, half black and half Chinese. I swear I could almost hear everyone within earshot collectively face palm. Half man, half bear, half pig, man bear pig. I got 400 days absence in a year but still passed. High school friend dropped this when we were measuring dongs on how we got away with things. This sounds like an updated version of the 4 Yorkshireman sketch. I've probably heard worse at some point but I remember sitting in a Starbucks on campus and this girl was telling this guy about her trip to Italy and at one point the guy goes so where do you want to go next and she says I've never been to Europe before so hopefully that lol. Hope she had a chance to visit Paris, the capital of Europe. An uppity woman to a server in a restaurant. Do you know who I am? Do people realize how ridiculous they seem when they try to throw their weight around like that? I always hope that the reply is I've no idea, madam. That would really grind their gears. Girl. Do fish sleep? Me. Of course they do. Her. I uh, yeah. They sleep in Finding Nemo. So they must do. Me. That's a cartoon. Her. Defensively. Yeah but it's based on a true story. Question. A recent poll shows that 1 stroke 5 of Americans can't locate the US on a world map. Why do you think this is? Answer. I personally believe that US Americans are unable to do so because some people out there in our nation don't have maps and I believe that our education like such as in South Africa and the Iraq everywhere like such as and I believe that they should our education over here and the US should help the US and should help South Africa and should help the Iraq and the Asian countries so we are able to build up our future. Forgot about that gem. You don't eat bacon because you're an atheist, right? Yeah it's one of the atheist's 10 commandments which we must follow to get to atheist heaven. Does myself count? I was shopping with my spouse after our child was born. We were in the baby aisle. She picked up a bottle of baby oil, which prompted me to ask aloud. Wait, baby oil is actually for babies? A woman who had been walking into the aisle laughed audibly and immediately walked away. Go to flush the system and replace the fluids every 3-5 months. Newer models don't need as much maintenance. In college I wrote a paper on, one use, plastic water bottles. In the paper I suggested banning them. One girl in the class was like well, where the heck are we going to get water from? The lake outside. LMAO everyone laughed at me like I was the stupid one. The normalization of one use water bottles is one of the dumbest things that has ever happened. While driving around Mexico City, Person 1. Wow Mexico City is huge. Me. Yeah. I think it's one of the biggest cities in the world. American girl. Nah. Texas is. Sounds like she's from Texas City. My friend has said two of the stupidest things I've ever heard. We were discussing climate change solutions in class and she says. Can't we fill a hot air balloon with all the carbon dioxide and send it into space? And regarding deforestation. Why don't we just clone fully grown trees? Standing at the foot of the Jesus statue in Rio de Janeiro I heard an American ask his tourist guide, Are these mountains natural or man-made? Well, they say that faith can move mountains, so maybe it was a joint effort. 
late to the party but this one stands out to me. At the DMV, girl sitting behind me talking to another lady, yeah, her 12 month old has to be at least, I'd say at least a year old now. My former GF who is a freaking mathematician, Argentina is in Europe. When I asked her why did she think that, her justification was that Messi plays for Barcelona and Spain is in Europe. Another former GF was constantly afraid Italians and or Germans might invade Greece any time like they did in the past and took me years to persuade her to visit Italy with me where she at last understood Italians are like us and friendly as heck. She hadn't left Greece ever before. The complete and utter lack of any geopolitical knowledge of people baffles me. I have more examples like these from more people and I blame the education system for not making history and geography fun for the kids. As an Argentinian I can assure you we are in Europe, but only Buenos Aires. Or at least that's what we seem to think. A bit late to the party but I heard a woman explain to another woman how planes don't actually fly from America to Europe. They just hang in the sky motionless while the earth moves below them. Until Europe appears and then they land. Imagine a debate between this woman and a flat ether. I was visiting Stanford when my friend and I saw a student and her friend walk up to an autonomous security robot and shout oh my god. How did they fit someone in there? What are you talking about? Bread doesn't go bad. Comma my roommate getting ready to make a sandwich with a green and purple 3 month old loaf of bread. Honestly, family feud is filled with such amazing examples. Q. At what month of pregnancy does a woman begin to look pregnant? A. September. Q. Name a state from the letter M. A. Mexico. Q. Name an animal with three letters in its name. A. I kid you not, he said, with full confidence. Alligator. Q. Name something that comes with a summer storm. A. Apparently snow. Q. Name one thing that follows the work pork. A. A pine. Q. Name a brand of fuel. A. First guy said regular and the next guy said ethyl. Q. What does your husband do when he runs out of clean underwear? A. He takes a pair of mine, as said by wife. Q. Name a famous willy. A. Willy the Pooh. I love this show so much. Q. Tell me a man's name that starts with K.A. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Q. Name something only worn by children A. Clothes. Q. Name a part of a telephone A. The bottom part. My cousin is a good guy, but he doesn't think before he talks. One time we were at this event and the guy speaking, a white guy, gave a shout out to his son. My cousin looks at the kid and goes, wow that kid's legit Chinese yes. People can adopt kids or have interracial marriages. What a concept. Needless to say, I pretended like I didn't know him for a while. He doesn't think before he talks. Comma yes, people can adopt kids or have interracial marriages. What a concept. You were probably exactly right about the didn't think thing. I think we've all said things when we were surprised, even though we actually knew better. My gym has just refinished the men's locker room. It came out that there would only be personal showers, not community ones. I overheard two gentlemen in their 60s 70s. This is all because of the millennials. What are millennials? Younger people. You know they've never been in the army or navy. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.